What's going on guys? Mike with Iceberg Gaming here with another Starfield guide for you today. This time I'm going over the best way to grind XP. This is going to be the best way to XP uh, level up via killing enemies. Now there are some leveling methods out there involving using outposts to craft a lot of gear. And you could make an argument that those are maybe more efficient than this. Maybe you're going to level a little bit faster, but maybe you like killing things, or maybe you want to work on your certificates while you're leveling, and this is the method for you. But before we get started with the grind, we need to do a couple of things to prepare. First of all, take a nap. Just even one hour of nap will give you the well-rested well, bonus. Nice you wake up feeling day. rested, and you go into your health tab, you will see... By pressing B, you will see that you have a well-rested status effect for plus 10% XP. Next stop, we need to stop at a cooking station, and we're going to be cooking up some alien tea. You can do the alien tea or the boba tea. They both give you plus 2% uh, XP gain, but the boba tea takes a little bit more mats. So for our purpose, the alien tea works just fine. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, if you have romanced... Uh, i.e. married one of the companions, your rested bonus will be increased even more because your companion will sleep with you. Giggity. And once we've got that taken care of, we are setting course for the Strix system. This is way, way, way to the galactic east. It's going to take you a long, a lot of jumps to get there. Um, so you prob you might need to power up your, gr your dra grab drive, drive a bit, either through buying upgrades or talent points before you're going to be able to make it because it's a long way. Also a very dangerous trip. There's a lots of high level systems along the way that could be filled with pirates. So be ready to fight or to grab drive on quickly because these guys can take you out pretty quick. Uh, I Even following my guide for ship combat, I often had to run away from these fights. They're just really strong fights in this area. These systems are high level. Once again, here is the system way over to the galactic east and uh, a little bit north. You're going to take these huge jumps uh, from... Alpha Centauri is like two more jumps west of this current position that I'm at here, so it's quite a long way. And we are going to Strix 1, and we are looking for the Craters Biomes destination. So look for Craters and land there. And once you arrive, you're looking for these creatures, the flocking Nautilus filterers. They are territorial, they give nutrients, and they are in the volcanoes and the craters biomes. And then we are just going to engage in genocide of these creatures. One thing I do recommend is that you go into your options menu and turn the difficulty to very easy. This will give you slightly less XP per kill but the creatures will have a lot less health, so you'll be killing them a lot faster. Now the strategy I like to employ with these is to stay close to my ship so that the robot uh, will help out also in addition to your companion. And then what I like to do is I like to shoot as many of them as I can with a few shots and then let the companions work on them. Um, if you don't at least hit an object once, I don't think you get XP for it. But you still get XP even if your companions fill it off, finish it off. So I recommend you shoot everything at least once to quote unquote tag it. You might be familiar with that term if you've been playing uh, like MMOs and stuff. So you want to try to tag everything, and this will also start bringing everything to you. These are um, uh, these are flocking creatures. So if you hit one, most of them should start coming towards you. But just to be safe, hit them all so they start coming to you, and then once they get closer, they're a lot easier to kill. If you run out of creatures, you can jump back into your ship and take another quick little nap. This will refresh your rested XP buff and also reset the creatures. Right. If you've tried this method, what do you think of it? How was your leveling experience? How would it compare to the outpost method and which methods are you using to level up in Starfield? Let me know in the comments section what you're using and I uh, may check it out and let you know what I think. But thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video if you found it helpful. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.